water scarcity is not, uh, not only limited to the uh, uh, inavailability of water, but also we can have water that is contaminated with different materials, including uh, toxic metals. Uh, toxic metals in water do accumulate in the body and cause lots of problems to different organs and they will cause a number of diseases uh, to humans. Uh, in my research group at the American University in Cairo, we have developed uh, optical chemosensors that are simple and of low cost and can detect uh, the presence of toxic metal in water. So they can help uh, people to uh, use these uh, uh, simple kits to uh, decide whether or not, or to figure out whether or not there are toxic metals in water, and whether or not this water is suitable for human uh, consumption. This course deals with giving awareness to students, and consequently, these students are going to the to the society, and they are also giving awareness, as it is. It has been said also that water is the most cheap and the most valuable because it affects our lives from drinking to hygiene. Things that get dissolved in water and it will be very difficult to be removed uh, from water and end up in the drinking water uh, can affect uh, many people. For example, runoff from the farms uh, can carry nitrate and when it goes to groundwater or underground water and then we um, build uh, water wells and to get this water out that contain many nitrates it can cause serious problems, especially to infants. For example, uh, baby blue syndrome, which can kill infants uh, less than a year. Through our course, we are trying to introduce the students to water management tools, including water management approaches, such as water desalination, wastewater treatment, recycling and reuse, construction of proper infrastructures for water delivery and water storage, in addition to uh, practicing and adapting new technology in agriculture, like drip irrigation, um, and hydroponics and aquaponics. This course has truly inspired me to, to look into the, the, what, what's, what has been going lately with water and uh, how, we, how we treat it, how we deal with it, and uh, the issues that has been facing it, and um, how, we, how, sh how we should probably control it and regulate it. In this course, we learned about water pollution, especially in the Egyptian community. Uh, as well in this course, we worked a lot on hands in the labs. Uh, we did a pH level uh, uh, lab experiments. We worked with the electric conductivity, water turbidity, and stuff like that. 